What's up everyone, Don Ali here, and so Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has finally hit theaters, cannot wait to uh, go see it. And so to promote this film, uh, Screen Junkies released another Honest trailer, which uh, pokes fun at the lesser of the Jurassic Park films, Jurassic Park 3. And I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was really, really little, you know, and uh, yeah, my dad took me to see it, and uh, I just thought it was just okay back, back then. I always thought the first one was, you know, obviously the first one's way better, but uh yeah, there's quite a few, a few things that I have that I well, when I look back at it, you know, as an adult, um, there are a few things that I see uh, kind of wrong with the film, and I'm pretty sure uh, this is going to point it out. So let's dive right in. Honest trailers, Jurassic Park three, go. Today's episode is brought to you by the U.S. Army. Hmm. All right. They welcomed you to Jurassic Park. Then, they welcomed you to the Lost World. Now, the franchise just kind of wears out its welcome in... Jurassic Park 3. Alan! Before you see the fifth Jurassic movie, revisit the chapter that made these movies go extinct for 15 years. <laughs> combining a rehashed plot... You mean there are two islands of dinosaurs? All oh, right! ...and TV quality effects. Yeah, and the effects with this were kind of... score the lowest critical response of the series. Ugh. Why couldn't Universal have just listened to Jeff Goldblum? They were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. Alan! <laughs> Sam Neely turns. He's got a point. Jones minus all charisma. It's a great thing about Bones and a runaway. Witness the most meta role of his career as he plays a guy pressured by fans into going back to Jurassic Park. Does anyone have a question that does not relate to Jurassic Park? <laughs> he finally gives in because of a paycheck. I can write all kinds of numbers on this check, Dr. Grant. While his more successful co-star literally phones in her part from home. Hello? Wow. <laughs> That's true. A cast of new dumb characters like Billy, who carries a parachute on land for the entire movie, just in case this happens. <laughs> the mandatory Jurassic Park child of divorce, Taya Leone yelling. <laughs> she was annoying in this. Quiet. This is Kirby. This is your God. And William H. Macy as a timid paint salesman who scams a team of mercenaries and kidnaps Dr. Grant to rescue his kid from the hotshot who's dating his wife. Huh. I think if they told the story from his perspective, this movie might actually be good. <laughs> this is T-Rex P. Never mind. Alan! Do you like dinosaurs? Well, not for long. Because this movie ruins every last one of them, killing off the T Rex in seconds. Yeah. Just to show how badass the Spinosaurus is, weirdly obsessing over the raptor's vocal cords. Do you remember the sounds they made? Yeah. And making the dinosaurs earth shakingly loud. Yeah. But still has them sneak up on people like Teflon clad ninjas. Oh, yeah. Like. <laughs> So gear up for the most forgettable Jurassic Park movie that forgot to include any antagonists, forgot to save any of its budget for an actual ending. She said the Navy and Marines. Yeah. Forgot they put the phrase "My God" into the script nine different times. My God, my God. Oh 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 my God. Yep. Oh my God. No, he's not. They really overdid that line. That's lazy. Mm. Alan. Starring. Alan. Alan. Sheamus. Taya and the T-Rex. <laughs> this Pratt. This Let me put you on holdo for a minute. Wow. People tripping all over themselves. <laughs> well, he was and punched, though. That's... Velociraptor on the plane shouting, Alan. Yeah, Alan. that was pretty stupid. The one where a dinosaur says, Alan. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend this whole movie is a dream prequel to the Lego video game. Alan. Today's episode was brought to you by the U.S. Army. Find out more by clicking the link below. Alan. <laughs> and when everybody has an awesome voice, no one will. I didn't choose the Honest Trailer Life. The Honest Trailer Life chose me. Chicago. <laughs> 
He was right, right about the whole lead shoe sequence. Like, that, that was just really dumb. Like, why would they add that? Seriously. I mean, and, um, and he was right about the whole, um, about the mom, uh, uh, in, uh, in the, in the film out of it. She's just, like, so screaming all the time. It's like, uh, remember when you used that, uh, megaphone to try to find your son and that big Spinosaurus, uh, showed up? It's like, yeah, you might want to refrain from shouting too much after something like that. I mean, come on. But, uh, yeah, William H. Macy, um, yeah, I liked Tim Lamb better in, uh, Fargo. You know, those are the kind of movies he should have stuck with. Now, the one problem I've always had with this film is the kid, uh, Eric, about how he's been stuck on that island for eight weeks and survived. So, it's like, okay, movie, so you're seriously trying to tell me that after we've seen, um... In the first two Jurassic Park films, people have been either killed off or forced off the island within days. And yet, this one kid manages to stay alive by hiding out inside of a vehicle. Once again, another great, uh, another hilarious Honest trailer. So yeah, definitely keep them coming, Screen Junkies. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the Honest trailer for Jurassic Park 3. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any suggestions of what I should try out next, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.